what the flip is up tubers um first things first sorry um my voice is a little hoarse i sound like a dying horse <laughs> Second thing, um, I'm sorry for not uploading the last two weeks. I've been going through it. Um, I'll get into that in a second. That's kind of like the topic of this video. Third thing, we're drinking tonight, ladies. Um, if you're 21 and older, get your wines up, beers. I don't care. If you're in Canada and you're 18 and up, get your wines up. In Europe, I think it's 18. Or is it 20 in Europe? Whatever the age is, get your wines up. I'm sorry, Americans, if you're not 21 yet. I just want your parents to like me, so don't drink with me. Third or fourth, I don't know, fourth thing, I think? I was trying to find my favorite mug, and um, <clears throat> I was trying to find my favorite mug. I was looking everywhere, and then I looked under my bed, and I found it, right? This is my favorite mug. But then I looked inside, and there's mold everywhere, so... That's disgusting. I don't even want to clean it. I like want to throw it away. I don't want to have to deal with like getting all of that mold. What the f was in this? It's like brown. What the f was I drinking? But it was under my bed for months. And I was wondering why my room had a weird stench. I've been lighting incense every day trying to get rid of it. But now I know why. So I'm gonna get this out of my damn room. That's disgusting. Fifth thing, I'm really confused about my toilet paper situation. Basically, when I first moved into this apartment a year ago, me and my mom, oh my god, my voice, I'm so sorry, like this is so bad. <clears throat> me and my mom, Barb, love her, miss her. Me and her went to, I don't even know, Rite Aid, and then we got like a huge case of toilet paper, right? I want to say like 50 rolls. So I just went and checked to see how much, because I just guessed. I had 24 rolls, not 50. 24. Somehow, I've managed to use all of those 50 rolls for an entire year. I don't know what, like I used the last roll today and I'm like, wait, I'm pretty sure I've had, how the f did I go through toilet paper so slowly? I'm genuinely so confused, kind of tripping. That makes no sense. My bladder is normal, um, my bowels are normal. How do I still have toilet paper left? It's been a year. I'm genuinely confused. I don't know what's going on. Um, seventh thing, I'm pretty stoked on my makeup today. Usually I got some bags under my eyes that I rock from time to time. And like, oh my god, I'm s- <clears throat> Sorry, okay. <clears throat> I'm trying so hard to talk normally. <clears throat> I was born in, not Weenie Hut Jr., Weenie Hut General, the hospital, because I hate haunted houses and I was screaming like a little baby. Yeah, so I don't have a voice now, but that's besides the point. What was the point? What was I just talking about? Oh, my makeup, yeah, I'm kind of stoked on it. I don't know what's going on today. Usually there's like a huge crease under here, even when I put concealer. Now it's looking really smooth and I look fresh today. Eighth thing, I think, damn it. I shouldn't have started counting. I'm really, really sorry for not making videos these past two weeks. The Mac Miller thing really me up. I tried making videos for last week and the week before. As I was editing those videos, I can just see right through me when I'm editing. I could tell I was about to have a mental breakdown and I'm like trying to like be happy and like be entertaining, but I just looked drained. It was like radiating off the screen and I know you guys would have thought the same thing. And so um, I'm not gonna sit here and act like everything's rainbows and sunshine. I'm going through it and um, this death is really affecting me. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit and um, first uh, let's take a sip of this. So first of all, I'm gonna talk about the situation in itself. I wish that I, I wish that I had a voice right now guys. I'm actually so sorry if this is obnoxious. Just get through it with me. <coughs> I am not gonna sit here and act like I was the biggest Mac Miller fan. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and act like he changed my life growing up, you know, and like I listened to every single album and I like went through all the motions with Mac. Basically, I was like kind of judgmental and I've only heard like a few songs from Mac Miller and kind of judged him on those songs. And I just kind of in my mind thought that he was one of those just typical like f boy rappers that only rapped about money, drugs, girls, sex you know and so because i thought that way i didn't even like give him a chance which is 
stuff. I kind of put Mac Miller in this box and I didn't really take the time to like dive deeper into him. I remember in 2016, he dropped the album Divine Feminine. And it actually dropped two years today, which is kind of crazy. I saw Ariana Grande post that she had a song with him on that. And that's when I was like, oh, Mac and Ariana made a song. That's kind of crazy. Like, I want to listen to it. And I fell in love with that shit. It took me back into, like, early 2000s R&B. And, oh, my God, I loved, like, the live aspect of it. It just sounded really raw, like a really raw, pure R&B song. And Mac was singing on it. And Ariana's voice with, like, an R&B beat, it just was honestly a perfect song to me and I could not believe what I was hearing. I was like, holy shit, this is Mac Miller? Like, this is on Mac's album? Holy fuck, I'm gonna listen to the whole thing. So I listened to the whole album from start to finish and I was fucked up. I, I think I like cried afterwards because I was like, holy shit, this is one of the best albums I've ever heard. And it's Mac Miller, this like rapper who I like kind of put in a box, thought he was just like a boy but like nah this shit was heavenly i was flabbergasted it's still one of my favorite albums to this day it was kind of that album only like i didn't really listen to any of max other shit i knew like knock knock and like donald trump and like the best day ever i didn't really like dive into those albums i remember showing ashlyn and she was up just as much as me we became obsessed with the Divine Feminine. And so we saw that Mac was coming to Portland and performing. And so me and Ashlyn were so stoked because we thought like he was gonna perform all of the songs from The Divine Feminine, right? We were so pumped and we get there. This is like our first Mac Miller concert ever. We like didn't listen to him before. And we get there and he performed maybe two songs, <laughs> two or three songs from The Divine Feminine. And during those songs, me and Ashlyn were just like in the down like dancing screaming every word the rest of the concert he was just playing shit that we didn't know at all so we were just like we were still getting down to it but we we're like we don't know anything but um and everyone else did like everyone in the crowd was like jumping mosh pits happening everyone was getting so hyped and me and Ashlyn were just like awkwardly in the back just like yeah we don't know like any of these songs but okay I just remember like the energy that Mac gave out to the crowd was just so beautiful like great energy and the crowd reciprocated back it was just like a beautiful f experience <laughs> I want to kind of play some of my favorite songs if you guys aren't familiar with his music. I can't keep on losing you. Many mistakes do it take till you leave when I'm left with my hand and my face all red and the face looking at you like, wait. Yeah, it's complicated. Got you frustrated. Get home late and you don't trust me, baby. We both know that's the bullshit. Okay, we be fighting, we be reuniting. First time I heard that shit, I like literally took my shirt off. I was like, oh shit, Mac. I didn't know you were a funky motherfucker. Like, I don't know anything about you. Like, I didn't know you were funky. I didn't know you f with Anderson Pack, who was also funky. Like, what the f? I didn't know he made music like that shit. Like, where have I been? Mac Miller is a legend. I watched the music video. I was equally as f***ed up. His dance moves. I just, that was, that's the type of music I f with just something I could get funky to with a good guitar, some good lyrics. Oh my God. Yeah, that song is truly genius. I love his live instruments. Wow, 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 wow. Will you stay just a little while back? Walk into the room, oh, oh. All I think about the live instruments, that sax, bitch, his mind. Hey. Smell your sweet aroma, see I know you smell like cinnamon. Kissing your lips, I lift my fingertips and get your glitteress in a mix. My dick on business trips, my black and red. I like it, and it's alright that you must be here. So good. That song 
is overwhelming for anyone. Just overwhelming. He took a physical, emotional, mental thing, sex, and turned it into a sound. That's the sound that I think of when I think of sex, and he was able to translate it, that feeling, into a song. Crazy, beautiful mind. What the f And the lyrics. Uh, I can't even, I can't even listen to this. I can't listen to this one. I won't, I won't listen to that one. You, you already know. You guys already know. I can't do that to my heart. But this one, bitch. Holy f This is my all time favorite. Myself tried to give her up, but she fucked so well. Never felt this free before. I need you more than keys and doors. I need you sleeping next to me. The blanket sheets get Caesar when I'm pulling up in the beamer. The beats in the trunk, all the freaks want to fuck. Perfect song. So, um, that album meant a lot to me. I listened to that album non-stop when it came out. That was like the only shit I listened to for like three months. <laughs> but it just sucks that that was like really the only time I recognized Max talent. After I recognized it, I didn't go back into his older shit and kind of like gotten to know his older self too. I remember when Will came down to LA to visit me. We were kind of just like hanging out and we were kind of talking about Mac and, and this was before he died. It was like, maybe it was like a month ago. And um, me and Will were just like hanging out in my room, just like talking about Mac because I was thinking about him a lot. And Will was kind of opening up to me about how Mac is a huge part of Will's life. And I was kind of like, oh really? Cause like I kind of only listened to the Divine Feminine. Like I didn't really listen to any of his other shit really. And Will was like, dude, yeah, like every single time Mac would release an album, like me and my friends would all listen to it together. And like Mac got me through some really tough times in high school and even like now, like growing up. He's like, every time Mac dropped an album, like Will could relate. It was kind of like a friend. And I thought that was really, really cool. He was like, yeah, I've never really related to anybody, to any other artist. I listened to his old albums with Will in the room and I was going through the lyrics too. I had like genius up on my computer reading through the lyrics and shit as we were listening to Max old stuff and I was like, holy f That was the first time I realized, I was like, damn, he is very in touch with himself and the world around him and very intuitive and um, even I could relate to the shit he was talking about in his old music and I was like, why the f didn't I listen to this earlier? Like. I feel like I'm late on the Mac Miller train. Will was showing me his old stuff, like his alter ego albums, like Delusional Thomas, which is an album. I think it's on YouTube. Um, his like alter ego Delusional Thomas. It's like a darker alter ego where he like talks about like more of his darker thoughts. And that was very interesting to me. He was also like, yeah, he also has an alter ego for his love songs. And I was like, no way larry lovestein and that made me laugh so hard that's like his like sexy like love alter ego he had like a suit on and afros and like sick glasses and i was like oh my god mac mac was the best like he was f hilarious and 
so talented and I was just kind of listening to Max shit nonstop. Will was telling me that he was like gonna get tickets to go see him on tour and um, I went to Oregon and I visited my family. I was also helping Will move into his apartment. Will was driving me to the airport and we were having a great day, great time. We're driving and I'm on my phone. Someone in my group message texted a screenshot. So in shock, like my body kind of went numb because I was with Will and Will is one of his biggest fans. I knew how much Mac meant to Will and obviously Will's freaking out. He's like, Sarah, what's wrong? Just tell me what's wrong. Cause I'm just like, I didn't know like I could talk. And so finally I was like, dude, like Mac Miller, Mac Miller overdosed and like, we were just driving and he like didn't really know what to say and I was like crying and I'm like I'm so sorry and Will was so in shock because he thought just like the rest of everyone else like everyone thought that he was doing really well for the first time in a while according to all of his friends everyone was saying he was fine and excited for tour and it felt like a dream and then I went on Twitter and everyone was talking about it just being like what the f like there's no way, there's no way that this is real. I go to the airport and he drops me off and I'm still kind of in shock like walking through the airport. And um, I was also really thinking about Ariana Grande. My heart was like breaking for her cause I cannot imagine what she was thinking in that moment. I know that she was really, really trying her hardest to help him through those dark times. But with addicts, you can't save them. They have to save themselves. I think that it's so up to blame Ariana for his overdose because that's not the case. I'm just thinking about her and praying for her and I think everyone should do the same and everyone should just spread love onto her right now and just let her know that this was not her fault. She tried to help him. We were all like walking onto the plane and um, this girl taps me on the shoulder. She was like, hey, like I'm a huge fan. I go to U of O, blah, blah, blah. And um, I was trying so hard to like, you know, like talk to her and um, be personable and so I kind of was talking to her for a second kind of just like stopped talking and I like looked away I knew that if I get like kept talking to this girl I would start crying but I also felt bad because like she was a fan and just wanted to like talk to me I did not have any energy to continue a conversation or I would just break down crying um, so I kind of like shunned from her which was really rude and if you're watching this girl I'm really really sorry like I I wanted to talk to you man but I just could not form a sentence I'm just gonna use him as an inspiration on how I want to be and how I want to treat people and also musically I really am appreciating his lyrics and how he was so easily able to express his thoughts and emotions into words and articulate it in his own way have really creative wordplay too. The fact that he really focused a lot on his beats and he was a producer, he was a musician, he played piano, bass, guitar, starting to sing more and he was just so beautiful. Rest in peace Mac Miller, you have changed my life honestly and I didn't even really know you that well but even from not knowing you that well you've changed my life and so I can't imagine the people that actually did grow up with you and shit like you you've helped so many people and i just wish that you were able to help yourself too and i knew that you were trying to but you know shit happens and um yeah rest in peace to a legend we lost a good one cheers to that r.i.p Love you guys so much. Please take care of yourselves. If you know anybody with an addiction, if you know anybody that is struggling or has depression or just anything, please talk to them. Just give them a hug. Let them know that you are here and that you love them because some people just need a friend, a family member to just tell them that they are loved and that they matter. They are appreciated and that people want them here. Please, please get help. You belong here make the most out of your life. Existence is a beautiful gift and as much as we want to sit here and be like what the fuck is the point of living if you really just get into nature and kind of get into touch with yourself it's such a beautiful gift. Just being in a body like some people kind of forget that we're in bodies like we're in these really like complex bodies. We don't even have to think about moving our fingers like it just knows we're 
existing is cool guys um even though when i'm not posting or interacting with you guys a lot sorry i just picked my nose even when i'm not interacting a lot um just know that i i love you guys so much and i i want you here just be nice damn it just be nice if you guys want to spread some positivity you can get this shirt down below i'll put the link down there just spread some just spread some good shit in the world the world needs it the world needs you to be a light love you guys uh, let me get a one-way ticket i've been picked a destination i'm just trying to catch a train before i have to leave the station packing no bags nothing but the clothes on my back with a cognac let me sip a trying to relax red wine up in my glass plus filet mignon